and turn on the aerial and we'll go to Crosby, Texas. And find that fence on here. It's right here. There we go. So if you zoom into it here, get a good picture of it. All right, so again, what I, what I was explaining to you just now is what I did you know, previously was take this whole post and capture it and not this post because it's supposed to you know put it you know by intervals down the line well for some reason it would show it this way but when it was duplicated on the other side of the fence it would offset it and start here so I would have you know duplicated posts so my buddies on the forum said well why don't you try half of this one and then half of this one worked perfectly so what I'll do is I'll take a screen capture and I'll capture half of this one and half of this one like so. Okay. So I'll just save that image. And I'll save it to the desktop, call it fence. All right. So once I have that, Autodesk has a free utility that's web-based and it's called Pixlr. I don't know if you've ever used it or not, but it's extremely useful. Uh, and it's free. That makes it even better. So if you go to Pixlr, which is P-I-X-L-R dot com, it'll bring you to the website. Here you can log in, sign up for free. If you want to sign up, you don't even have to sign up. But if you scroll down, you can see you can launch the Pixlr Editor or the Pixlr Express. This is just to fix stuff real fast by putting borders on it and change, you know, the default views of, of images and stuff. Kind of like a little bit of photo editing. But we're going to use the editor. So I'm going to open the image from computer and I'm going to open that fence I just captured. So here's what we have. So what I want to do is I want to use this selection tool. And I want to pick this half of the fence like so. And I want to hold my shift key down and pick this side over here. Okay, with the shift key still down, I want to select my rails. Select all three rails. Like so. Okay, once I have them selected, I want to come up here and create a new layer. If you've ever used Photoshop or Paint.net, you know, it's pretty much the same procedure with those. Uh, so when I do that, I want to use the paint bucket and pick a color here. And I want to use RGB colors. And I want to make it white. So white is all F's, six F's. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That makes it white. So I'll click OK and pick inside here to create that white fence. So once that's created, I want to delete the background, which will make it transparent. So if I come up here and pick background, uh, I'm not sure why my resolution's hiding that. I can drag it over. So you'll see it's locked. If I click it a couple times, it unlocks it, and I can uncheck it, or I can just right-click on it and delete it. So there, that makes this area transparent. So once I have that, I'm going to come up to File, Save. And you'll want to save this as a PNG, which is a, uh, a transparent file. Uh, you can pick it and save. There we go. So PNG, and it'll tell you it's transparent and full quality. And I want to save it to my computer, so if I click OK, I'll save that to my desktop, and I'll just call it Fence Trans for transparent. So now we have our, our fence. So now if we go back over into InfoWorks, we're going to pick the I and the cube, 
and we want to open up the style palette. Once the style palette's open, we need to create a new material. But first off, I'm just going to go ahead and throw a barrier down here to show you how this is going to work. So if I go here and I go barriers, I'll pick the gray barrier. And I'll take and go from here to here. And we'll just come to here, double click the end. And that places the concrete barrier. So I'll close this, hit the escape key. You'll see it's just a regular concrete barrier. So if I pick it and I right click, go to properties. I want to make the height of this, uh, we'll say five feet. Say it's a five foot fence. If I hit update, now it's five feet. Okay. So now I can go into <clears throat> the material tab, which is here. And under fences and barriers, I want to create a new material using that image. So if I hit the plus symbol, here you can see I can assign a color or a texture. So if I click texture and click the ellipsis, I want to browse to that transparent fence. So I'm going to open that. And it says the texture was added to the internal model resources for quicker retrieval. So we'll click OK. You click OK. We'll give it a name, white fence. So once I've done that, now I can create a barrier with that material. So I'm going to come back up to barrier. I'm going to click the add button. So here I want the length to be 8 feet. I want the height to be 5 feet. The thickness will make 6 inches, so 0.5. And spacing... I'll make that the same as the length, 8 feet. Now I'm going to go ahead and click OK because I forgot to do something in my material. Then we'll fix this here in a second. Go ahead and call it white fence. Okay. Uh, go back to my material back in here. I forgot to give it the width and height on this. So it'll be 8 and 5. Back over in Barrier, we'll double click it to edit it. <clears throat> so for the left material, we want to pick the material that we just created, white fence. For the right material, same thing, uh, white fence. For the top material, we want that white. For the begin and end material, we also want it white. Click OK, click OK. And now we can just drag and drop this onto the barrier. And there you'll see our fence. Now you'll notice that we have this top here, OK? We assign that top white. Well, it doesn't quite look right so in order to fix that what we do is we come into that top material and it's white of course there's the color white the alpha channel is another fancy term for transparency so I want to change my alpha channel to zero click OK click OK and it updates my fence and you can fix this here by dragging your drips and stuff because the way it kind of duplicated that fence post. But you'll see there's kind of that uh, offset that I was talking about earlier. But you can see these came out okay. Uh, you can probably fix that somehow by probably grabbing the grip and pulling it out or something of that nature fixed it a little bit but it's still kind of funky there but not enough to to notice basically so that's that's how you create a transparent fence material